For today's video, we are going to discuss to determine how to determine if the series converges or diverges. Let the summation of AM denote a given infinite series for which SN is the sequence of partial sums. If the limit of SN as N approaches to positive infinity exists and is equal to S, then the series is convergent and S is the sum of the series. If the limit of the SN as N approaches to positive infinity does not exist or is infinity, the series is divergent and the series does not have a sum. In short, if the limit of SN as N approaches to positive infinity is equal to S, then the summation of a n as n is equal as n will start at 1 to positive infinity is equal to s as well okay let us determine if the given series converges or diverges using the definition that was given a while ago okay so let's say we have the sequence a n as 1 over n times n plus 1. Then, if we are going to list the sequence terms, then this will be 1 half, 1 half, if n is 1. So, if we're going to substitute 1 here, then this will give us 1 half. Then, if n is 2, then, uh, if we're going to substitute here again, then it will give us 1 six. Kapag n is equal to 3 naman, then it will give us 1 half. Okay, now, from the previous video, we were able to identify or to determine that the formula for the series for this particular given sequence is 1 minus 1 over n plus 1. And then, if we are going to write, the sequence terms of the series, then we have 1 half, that is A1, 4, 6, that is when we added A1 and A2, which is 1 half plus 1, 6. Then we have 9, 12, when we added A1, A2, and A3, and that is 1 half plus 1, 6 plus 1, 12. Okay, now, so based from the definition, if we're going to get the limit of the series as n approaches to positive infinity, so that will be equal to limit of 1 minus, uh, quantity 1 minus 1 over n plus 1 as n approaches infinity. And then, we can separate the quantity, so we have limit 1 as n approaches to um, positive infinity minus limit of 1 over n plus 1 as n approaches to infinity. Now, limit 1 is 1 because 1 is a constant. And then, the limit of 1 over n plus 1, this is 0. Why? Because if we are going to substitute bigger values or, yes, bigger values for n, let's say, for example, we have 400 plus 1, so that is 1 over 401. And this value, if we're going to simplify it, that is closer to 0. And as n increases, so as n gets higher and higher, then the value of 1 over um, 1 over that certain, uh, that certain um, sum here, um, the value of it will be closer to 0. Okay, that is why we have the limit of this is 0. So, 1 minus 0 is equal to 1. So, that is the limit of the series. 
Now, based sa definition, sinabi doon na kapag ang limit daw is, ang limit ng series ay um, is not equal or it does exist, no? Does exist and is not equal to infinity, then um, the series converges. Okay? The series converges and that and that the sum the sum of the series will be um, equal to the limit which is in this case since ang limit natin ay 1 therefore ang sum ng series natin ay 1 so to simplify since nalaman natin na yung limit ng series is 1 then by the definition, the series is convergent. Okay? Kasi nga, yung limit natin is um, nage-exist nage at hindi siya equal to infinity. Okay? Kaya, yung series natin ay convergent. Ibig sabihin, yung sum, no, yung sum ng si yung sum natin, uh, the, the sum or the partial sums of the sequence terms ay nagko-converge or lumalapit sa value ng 1. Okay, and also, ito, yung summation nga, summation ng sequence natin, which is 1 over n times n plus 1, um, summation ng mga sequence terms ay um, lumalapit sa value ng 1. It's not equal to 1. Uh, it's not um, exactly 1. Pero lumalapit sila sa value ng 1. Okay? So, ganito ang ibig sabihin niyan. So, ito yung series. E alam naman natin na ang series is summation summation ng mga sequence terms. Ibig sabihin, kung ia-add natin yung mga sequence terms kung i-add natin yung mga sequence terms okay, ang uh, these are only partial sums uh, partial lang, partial okay, it's not all it's just partial okay um, so, if we're going to add this partial uh, or portion lang portion lang ng uh, sequence terms it will be almost equal to 1. Okay? Yung value ng sum nila is equal um, closer rather, closer to 1. Let's have another example. So, let the sequence a n be equal to n. So, if we are going to write, if we're going to write the sequence terms, then that will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, when n is 1, of course, we have the first term as 1. When n is 2, of course, the second term is 2. So, we'll just simply substitute it there. Okay. Then, from the previous video, we were able to determine that the formula for the series in terms of n for this particular given sequence is n times 1 plus n over 2. Um, and we have noticed no, that, this given sequence, that the given sequence is an example of an arithmetic sequence. Okay. So, if we are going to write, if we are going to write the sequence of the series, so we have 1, as this because that's a1 and for the second term we just simply add 1 plus 2 that's why we have 3 and then when we add 1 plus 2 plus 3 we have 6 and 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 we have 10 and then if we're going to get the limit if we're going to get the limit of the series as n approaches to positive infinity so we have this one the limit of n times 1 plus n over 2. Now, the limit is positive infinity. Why? 
Um, if we're going to simplify this one, this is n plus n squared over 2. So if we are going to substitute higher values for n here and then divide it by 2, it will give us still high numbers. Or And then as n increases here, as n increases here, the value of the, um, or the quotient, no, the quotient will still be uh, increasing, will also increase. That is why the limits is um, positive infinity. And based from the given definition, that if the limit of the series is positive, is, pos is infinity, no, infinity, then the series diverges.